All right, hi, this is James with the onehoursmarthome.com and today we're gonna show you how to install a doorbell transformer. All right, so uh, if you don't have any existing transformer, we're gonna show you how to add one to a junction box so that you can get a doorbell installed or if it's a smart doorbell, uh, put a new transformer in like this so that you can get your smart doorbell installed. Uh, if you want to see how to replace the doorbell transformer, we've got another video on that, so go ahead and check that out. But uh, depending where you live on the in in the country, you're going to have either a metal junction box like this, or you're going to have a plastic junction box. And it's best to find a junction box near your doorbell, or underneath the doorbell in the basement, or up above in an attic, so that you can easily run the wiring down to the doorbell. Um, a lot of times you're going to find these junction boxes in a mechanical room um, down in your basement or uh, in an attic and you need a junction box because you need that so that you can add the transformer. Now the other way to add a transformer is super easy and I'm going to give you that real quick easy tip and trick and can save you a lot of time if you don't feel comfortable doing this is you can get a plug-in transformer, okay? And you can use that to connect your doorbell wiring, which this is what doorbell wiring looks like over here. And you can use a plug-in transformer to power your smart doorbell, okay? And that doesn't require any, any electrical knowledge at all or anything like that. You just plug it into the wall and then you wire it up to the back of your doorbell, like so, okay? And these two wires would go to the plug-in transformer. But today we're going to show you how to wire up a hardwired transformer. So this is the transformer that we're going to be installing here. This is a junction box, junction box cover. And, uh, you know, some places in the country you have metal junction boxes. Other places you're going to have plastic junction boxes. Uh, with the plastic junction box, you're going to have to knock out a little... Piece on the side of the metal junction box you also have to knock out these little holes uh, you can see where it's recessed here you just need to knock those out so I already knocked one out here for the transformer so we can install it you want to make sure the power is off that's the most important thing with working with electricity you can use a non-contact voltage meter to do that or you can use a multimeter uh, when you open up the box and test to make sure that the power is off but you turn the power off at the junction box or the circuit breaker. And uh, you want to make sure that you do that and are very safe. If you're uncertain which one to use, uh, which circuit is your doorbell is on or the junction box is on, just turn off everything. Just be safe. And uh, the thing a lot of people forget then is that uh, it's going to be hard because you're going to be working in the dark. So have a good flashlight. So down below in the links, I'm going to recommend I'll, I'll put a link to a transformer that works with smart doorbells. I will put a link to a non-voltage contact, non-voltage, non-contact voltage meter that works for detecting voltage to make sure you're safe. And we'll put a link to the plug-in transformer, okay? So that you know how you can do this very easily. So the first thing you're gonna do is remove the junction box or the cover plate off the junction box. You're gonna take that out. Um, in our example, we've only got three wires going in here, but typically you're going to have three or six wires, but they're all going to be paired together. So you'd have another white wire paired to this one, another black wire paired to this one, and another green wire paired to this one. And that's because it's probably going on to another circuit somewhere in your house. So just envision that these are paired up. It wires up the same. Basically with the transformer, you can see we've got uh, three colored wires. So this is a, an easy thing. White goes to white, green goes to green, black goes to black. Now, some states, you might have different colors for the hot wire, and that's just to de denote uh, where, what circuit goes where with a different color. So this might be blue, this might be red, this is a common color, orange, um, but uh, the hot wire is always a color or black, and neutral and ground are always white and green. Now, the only exception to that is that the green wire can be unshielded and can just be a uh, copper wire, a bare copper wire. But these two are universal, white and green. Green is ground, white is neutral. There shouldn't be any other colors for this, with the exception of the green being a bare copper wire for ground. 
But this could be a variety of different colors. This could be red, black, blue, purple. Whatever they wired it up with. Red and orange are probably the most common other colors that you might see for a hot wire. So what you're gonna do is you're going to put the, you got your hole knocked out, you're gonna put the wires in from the transformer in here, okay? And then you're gonna throw your transformer in there like that, and uh, I don't know if you can see this, there's threads on here, okay? So this actually gets threaded in to the junction box. So once you get it close, what you need to do is there's a little nut, a nylon nut or plastic nut on there that you need to put over these wires so that you can secure the transformer to the junction box. So we're gonna put the transformer in there just like this. And we're gonna secure it on there with that nut. Secure that nut down. Okay, so that transformer is nice and tight. Give you a little view in there. That is the nut secured to the threads on the transformer. And now we're just gonna play the matching game. Neutral wire, white to white, green to green, black to black. And uh, you're just gonna get it started. Like I always twist the wires a little bit. It can be helpful. Put the nut on, the wire nut on. You wanna make sure you have the right size nuts for the wiring, just like this, boom. Okay, get your black wire. You're gonna match black to black. Wire that up. Okay, so we've got that on there now. Put the wire nut on, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna do green to green, match the colors up again. And wire this, just like so. Get the wires started and wire like that. All right, so now we've got all, all three of these wires connected and you're just gonna gently put them back down in the junction box so they don't you know, hit on anything. They don't, uh, they don't snag on anything. You want that insulation to stay nice and uh, protecting the wire there. Insulation that gets damaged can cause electrical shorts and we do not want that, so. All right, uh, then you're just gonna put the cover back on here and you can rotate this. Uh, some people like this transformer to be rotated um, so that it is not, uh, right here you can see it's a little bit of a clearance issue. So it might be more appropriate to rotate the, the uh, transformer 90 degrees and uh, before you do that you just want to make sure that nylon nut is secure on there so this thing doesn't go moving around on you it really just depends on what uh, <clears throat> how your junction box is oriented how you orient this transformer so it fits best um, so then you're gonna throw in your screws here just like so Secure the junction box back down, the junction box cover for the transformer. Boom, just like this. Let's make sure we get that correct. Get this lined up correctly with where the actual screw hole is for the junction box cover. You don't have to use a drill, you could use a uh, just a screwdriver if you wanted, but drills faster. Um, all right, so now we're just gonna turn the power back on and show you that this is working and putting out the appropriate amount of voltage. So I'm gonna go turn the power on and I'm gonna get my multimeter out here to show you what's going on. And uh, highly recommend this multimeter. Uh, it's pretty economical. Okay, so we've got the power back on. Can take a power reading and show you that this is working. All right, so I just put my transformer, put the uh, multimeter terminals there. All right, I'm getting 22.1 volts. That is more than enough to power a smart doorbell. So everything is working. We'll put links to the multimeter, the doorbell transformer, non-contact voltage meter down below, what transformer you should use for a smart doorbell as well as uh, a link to a post about how to install a plug-in transformer for a smart doorbell. So a lot of people have really found that helpful. 
So please like, subscribe to this channel, uh, click on any links below to support us and check us out at onehoursmarthome.com so we can keep providing you great helpful videos and reviews on smart home devices and help you automate your home. Thank you very much and we will see you next time.